Here you are. More relics for your collection. Show me what you found. Wonderful. And here is something for you. I want more of these artifacts. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Valet! Message has come. I have to go. Then go in peace. Eivor, out the gate? How do you feel, Eivor? I... I would rather not talk about it. I understand. Come to me. I want to see the Alliance map. What can you tell me of Vinland? Is it a real place, or merely a rumor? Rumor or not, I found someone willing to sail you there. She claims to have seen it once before, 
If she's willing to risk her life beside me and make the long journey, I'll take her at her word. Nessa is her name. Meet her at the docks when you are ready to leave. What can you tell me of Vinland? Is rumor or not? If she's willing to... Nessa is her name. I'll go now, and end the life of Gorm Kjotveson, where the Valkyries cannot find him. It is a long voyage, Eivor. Be careful. What's got into you? Mm. Quite delicious. A Saxon noble. He's a long way from home. Say to you, stranger. Nessa, is it? I am Eivor. Ranvi said you would be my guide. That is right. Passage to across the seas to St. Brenton's land, is that right? Ranvi called it Vinland. One and the same. It is a three-week trip by longship. Arduous, dull, possibly fatal. Should we survive, you'll be compensated. Eivor. Before you go, you must be dressed as a thrall when you arrive. To be seen as you are would raise suspicions. Gorm runs this new camp, and it is a good bet all but a few will be loyal to him. Good thinking. Only taking care of our prized Drenger. First things first, Eivor. My ship, my rules. Second, you follow the rules. Third, if you listen to my rules, you live. Understood. Good. Let me know when you're ready and we'll get going. Say the word and we are off. I'll leave my gear behind and dress the part. To Vinland we go. Hop in. We'll leave now. Three cold weeks on the Whale Road. Past mountains of ice and kingdoms of stone. Saga lands. All this way to kill a man. Gorm Kjotveson, the son of my father's old foe. What dark work does the Order have so far across the open sea?
Someone in charge. I'd better step with Kia. No friends here. You! You look stronger than most of the others. What's your name? Yora of Jorvik. Yora? As in horse? My father never wanted children. What is this place? Newhaven. A wild place found on no map. Are we settling here? That is not our plan. Too many wild folk in the woods. They threaten us. You ask too many questions, horse. Your task is to keep your mouth shut and do as I tell you. Now, unload that ship and then I'll have you carry those Hildi! carrots. Hildi! Hildi! We can't find Olaf. Look, he's ours. Not again. We cannot send supplies to Gorn without his guidance. Ugh! Pull what supplies we have to the nearest camps, then. Gorm's men will do the rest. Let me go. I can carry whatever supplies Gorm needs. That's Olaf's job, horse. Not yours. You stick to this port and keep your head down. Ask around about Olaf. Someone must know where he has run off to. If I can find this Olaf, he may know where Gorm is. Nessa, is your ship headed for England? It is. Are you ready to head back? No, I must yet perform a few tasks. <sighs> Do not take long, as we must return before the winter storms stir the cold sea. Storehouse? No, it is a rotten place, that storehouse. Have you seen it? <laughs> a bloody mess. If it's a mess, then clean it, dung brain. He beat Olaf bad. Thrashed him and locked him away in the storehouse. You know why? Because Olaf stole from Gorm and got caught. You're not stealing, are you? No, no. Good. Now, less whining, more working. Gorum storehouse. A good place to start. Helge! That fine honey meat you have. Pour me a horn, would you? I had ale for you, Auler. But no meat. What? We had a whole cask. The Gorm smashed it over Olaf's head, right there in the storehouse. Force hammer. I am done with this place. Send me home, Helgi. I heard Gorm took a strap to Olaf. Yes. The fool stole goods to trade with the Skrellingia. So Gorm dragged him off to the storehouse for a beating. That explains the mess. This Olaf was trading with the locals. Good to know there are other folk around. Smashed crates. Somebody crawled off, left a trail of blood. Finding Olaf may be the key to finding Gorm, or at least the helpful ally. Someone picked the lock and got away, or was hauled off. Could be a trail. Someone 
broke through here. Made quite a mess. Could be all love went this way. This trail leads to high ground. Good. I can get my bearings. Show me. Such a place. Quiet. And not a stone building inside. Survey the area soon. Gods, never have I seen such a place. Quiet, and not a stone building inside. Yeah, no wonder that can't get you young, boy. Oh, what? Nia wan haje. Oh, ya young, boy. Ya gan an te gan agarde. On kwa na de gun is the west. Those two carry themselves like leaders. It's worth a try. Hail, friends. Do you... Do we... Do we understand one another? Oya, kanya tera keronu. Jok no hoda ti gade giga yungwe. Do any of you speak Norse or Saxon? Zazadegwat giga yungwe. Yachte de wayanderi. Yachte yungwe yehri ze onadzini todit ni gunhra di hantos ne gaan. Giga odzi da'a, wa o nazi ne giga yungwe. Tigade na ne'e. This is Sunen. A name means insight. Yanja dahawe giga, zi nue oya ganyatara keronu i tres. Danu ahinasku. Ahoya dagenha, doga ahuna darohage giga.
Soon in, we made us some friends. These huts and clothes. Am I in need Waterfalls are places of power in the old sagas. Giga oya ganyatera keheronu rodaska. Nine days I hung in the tree. Nine days, you hear me? There is a language I know well, but the words are mine sick. Zatunde gatiga, rojadatku, zatsetsant doga askweni, toner era anchata hawite negaa. Then I threw my eye in the well. This is wisdom. Sounds like the ranting of a seer. Who are you? Olaf, I am. Olaf. Called the unlucky, but don't you believe it? And where is, uh... Promise you will do it quick. What? Do not stab me from behind, Drengur. Like Sigurd and the dragon. Please. I'm not here to kill you. I've come for Gorm. N not not here to kill me? Not today. Oh, stay clear of Gorm, then. He's not a good man, not a good man at all. Why would you need to see such a terrible man? It is a matter of honor. And Gorm owes me a great debt. Let's leave it at that. Oh, good. Yes. Yes, honor is good. Olaf will help you. Olaf will help you so much. Honor is the only thing. Yes, the only thing. I saw signs of a struggle at your camp. Did something happen between you and Gorm? Nothing to speak of. He, um, did not care for me trading with the villagers here. Beat me and put me in chains. I slipped away free. Not so unlucky, am I? Still alive, yes. Still alive. Good. Point me toward Gorm. Not possible. He is away. Far away at the camps in these woods. All well guarded. Might be at anyone. Why camps? Is he settling here? Or searching for something? Searching, yes. Always searching, and never finding the mean, mean backrot. And how do I find these camps? I can show you. Follow, follow, follow. Olaf, would you tell me something? Anything Olaf can tell, Olaf will tell my new and big friend. Why would Gorm cross the sea to this nameless wilderness? It seems a great risk for so little. Gorm carries with him a crystal that talks. It tells him where to go and what to do. A talking crystal? It is truth. The elf stone tells him to seek, and so he seeks. And when it says dig, he digs. Such a mystery. What is he digging for? <laughs> that is a mystery he will not tell. <laughs> But my guess is the best guess. He seeks the door to Jotunheim. <laughs> oh. Look! Out across the river. One of Gorm's camps. All look like that. All of them. They are well guarded, you say? Oh, yes. By fierce men. Warriors who attack any stranger on sight. Anyone. And they are all well armed. Not like you. As well equipped as a stable hand. <laughs> it does not take much to kill a man. But sharp steel helps. Oh, yes. You are not wrong. I could use better weapons. Olaf will help. Gather ore and hides to barter for war gear. Ore and hides? I can find out there? Yes. Yes! Some in the woods, much more at Gorm's camps... ...than traded all with the people here. Easy as a smile. Yes. 
Yes. I don't understand the language. Can you translate for me? <laughs> no need, no. We talk with signs. Just walk up to a trader and start trading. Take this. Some goods to get you started. Thank you for this, Olaf. And until I say otherwise, speak nothing of this to anyone. Might be a good idea to trade, now that I'm here. He seems eager to trade goods and wares. Neon ha a joy under there. O ten on gun does a do hunzoni? E walks on Tigo. Yo yonder did no hold the wasser dog. O ten on gun does a do hunzoni? I'm off. Be well, friend. I can hike into the woods straight for Gorm. Or gather more materials and trade for better weapons. My eyes. Aid me, be my eyes. in these woods somewhere.
Over the waves we say. I will find you, Gore, no matter how long it takes. And when the dawn arrives, the time for hunt begin. Quite a number you've taken. <laughs> it was not me alone. My friends and I won them. We call ourselves the Toothbreakers. Sadly, we were separated by a beast of a kind we have never seen. In one fell swoop, it tore our group apart. We are supposed to meet here to hunt that creature before returning home. And so, I wait. Wait in safety, then. Safe travels, and watch the woods. Over the waves we sail, <gasps> cutting the ocean skin. And when the dawn arrives, the time for hunt begins. They are making me wait quite a while. Has anyone seen a hunter? He is tall, his hair is like mine. And he uses a bow. He was last seen hunting near the woods to the west. He should be back by now. My eyes soon. You have some weight on you. Go, Sunan.
almost there. have listened to me. You have always been too selfish, reckless. Even Mother said so. Blame not the adventurer, for the pull of blood songs can tempt even the gods. Where do I go now? Without you to guide me, what should I do? Lost. I am lost. Remember your brother, and all that he is. Bring home his tales and let his legacy be grown. That is all we are. Words and song. I will hone my bowcraft, and he will smile upon me from above. He will be proud. Thank you for bringing him back. Thank you. I'm going to be the best hunter ever. Just like you, brother. Wait and see. I will shoot that elk in the eye. Forward, Frey. <laughs> what? What? No. No. Is that... <laughs> He is in the halls now. <laughs> I... I am sorry, Frey. He died by prey, but he will rest a hunter. Over the waves we sail, cutting the ocean skin. And when the dawn arrives, the time for hunt begins. They are making me wait quite a while.
Sunen, guide me. Olaf, tell me about your falling out with Gurm. He caught me stealing from his locked chests. I wished to trade with the villagers here. Then he gave you a good thrashing, did he? Yes, yes. Now I stay in my safe place. It's gone now. He walks with Diego. Neon ha a joy under there. I must take my leave. So long. Even the sacks they are your gun or the oh yes, got that we are. Who look for the opening? Drive a wedge in! <laughs> You're mine! Mine! He's hiding, or find some resources at the least. The guards here are vigilant.
One step closer. The Jodadu Otena got the Zadu Hunzoni. I always say, as I at the Genha Neon Hart, Julia. 
I have to go. See you soon. Here I, Brendan of Clonfert, servant of our Lord, to make my final inscription before this holy fount of light. My journey is ended. For two and some years have I heeded the inner voice of my Lord, and followed it to this place, to receive his word. I have seen the gate with its ancient markings. I have heard the voice of his angel, calling me beloved. Yet, the way did not open, his voice yet calls to me still, in blissful forms, torturous to me. Yet, the way remains closed. My way forward is... uncertain. See you.
Strange energy here. Have a look, Sunan. Show me what lies ahead. I should not be seen in this area.
so heavily guarded. What are you hiding, Gor? <laughs> the leader of this bridge cliff camp may know Gorm's whereabouts. A camp near the village. Gorm could be there.
won't take Light long. Light the uh, one. How they don't uh, you thrall? <laughs> you can't take cowards. Got your belly, coward! <laughs> What's the big noise? Trouble? all over. 
I thought I was dead. Do de Gordia. Doga on Sayak ge gigo. On de wat zaruna te zizarum hyago. Sayak. You want me to. to eat these? Or how we go your dahi uni ne gant ni wahi odans. Our friends healed me with their berries. I'm grateful. Yes, yes, and elderberries have a good taste too, and good for you. I feel much better. Do these elderberries grow wild around here? Yes, yes, all through the land, here and there. What do you want to do? What do you want He walks with Tigo. Neon ha a joy under there. Yawa. O tena gun does a dohunzoni? I'll see you later, friend.
What? This area is off limits. Gorham must be near. His doom has come.
The Jodadu. E he walks with Tigo. I always say as I at the Genha. I must be on my way now. Goodbye.
here! You are safe now. Thank you. Thank you, kinsman. I was so helpless against them. I even tried to use a key I found as a weapon, but the brute swallowed it. Now I will never know what that key unlocks. How did you come to be stuck here? My friends, the Toothbreakers, were with me. But we were separated when I went searching for what my key might open. I ended up snooping around that abandoned camp. And that's when they showed up. Bears! So many bears! Oh, I must catch my breath.
Sigurd, can I have that stone? No, I need it for my tower. Sigurd, your father tells me you have a love pledge with Sefa. No, not anymore. She called me a whale face and I spit on her foot. Those are not words a lover should use. Does Sefa know you have severed your bond with her? She does. I told her to find another Drenger, and she cried. I do not know why. Sadness can be so silly. Your meanness will haunt you one day, Sigurd. I would never betray you. Because we are friends. In love, hurt is different from that of friendship. Lovers must betray one another as the sun rises and sets. Skana. Tena gun does a do hunzoni? Yo yonder did no hold the wasser dog. I have to go. See you soon.
to spawn this thing.
You can do it, pet! Come on! Dropped something? Good old Arnim, my beloved pet, fell down. Well, flew his way down below. Now the poor thing is stuck. I cannot seem to encourage my Arne to fly back up. <sighs> Looks like we still have a long way to go. Arne! It cannot fly. I'll have to lead it back up. Watch out for his affections. Arne is the fiery salt, loves to give kisses. Please don't kill him if he pecks you a bit. is beautiful, Anna. Thank you for bringing Anna back into my arms. Now, I would like to repay your kindness. Now, I have what is left of Anna's family. Unfortunately, they didn't survive their training quite as well. Try it. They're quite delicious. I guess I will go back to my friends, the Toothbreakers. I hope they still wait for me at the port. Come on, Anna. Let us take flight. A winged companion is a boon. Do you see sooner?
Oda Wagat Geru. I e walks on Tigo. I'll see you later, friend. not to draw attention here. Tom, we found nothing but the gate we cannot open. I shall call upon our ally. Eat me, Gorm of the Order! Ancient ones! Once was, shall be, again. Cast about this land, my friend.
Show me. Sword. Gorm, did you find Olaf the Unlucky? I did. I locked him away for thieving. And when I return, I will see that the beasts of the woods pick at his flesh till his bones are clean. Nobody steals from me and walks away breathing. What news from our camps? In truth, they have grown quiet. Little to no word at all. Mm, no matter. Focus our efforts on the dig. Sir, I... Hate to ask, but... What? Spit it out! It may be you're talking crystal as a dwarvish trick, as in the sagas when... Silence! Speak no treason against my order. We are all wise, all-knowing, and all-powerful. Better to cut out your own tongue than speak against the crystal goddess. Did you find Olaf the Unlucky? I did. I locked him away for thieving. And when I return, I will see that the beasts of the woods pick at his flesh till his bones are clean. Nobody steals from me and walks away breathing. news from our camps in truth they have grown quiet little to no word at all mm, no matter 
Focus our efforts on the dig. Sir, I hate to ask, but... What? Spit it out! It may be you're talking crystal as a dwarvish trick, as in the sagas when... Silence! Speak no treason against my order. We are all wise, all knowing, and all powerful. Better to cut out your own tongue than speak against the crystal goddess. Wait, this is not the Hall of 500 Doors. This is not the Rock of the Fallen. Where are the women on the winged horses? Where are the choosers of the slain? My blood enemy! This is Niflheim, the hell of mist and cold. This is where the faithless dead come to die again. This is where ghosts fade to mist to be forgotten. Your meddling has doomed us all, Crow of Battle. More lies from a liar born. Now speak the truth. What brought the Order to this place? To free a goddess. A creature of power and light. Buried by the Jotna in ages past. A pity, Gorm. You will not meet her now. Crystal eye. It comes with a strange feeling. What was Gorm digging for? Something deep inside this cave. Olaf should know his tormentor is dead. I owe him that much. Probabilities lead us here. The calculations give us hope. This... this is not for me. I should return to all love. He deserves to know what happened here.
waste time. Sadar can save you now. Ah, God curse you! A waiter on who gets the kill? You're mine! <laughs> Oh! 
No need to hide now, Olaf. Gorm is dead. Gorm? Dead? Uh, by your hand? He paid a bloody price for broken honor. I will not say more. Return to your sister. Oh, I will. Yet I would first join the villagers at their fire. They tell stories, and I like to listen. Though I do not hear. Story time? Telling sagas of their own? Yes! Yes! They tell stories. Yes, come, listen. Zokki, rarondo de wasago horori ne yotzi zizu, waharu how toyedene zinu e rodiskar dagete junk kuero takwani dehni zarugi totni dagwe. Ya tehni ganare ti osumwaya danu akwegu gasumwa hunzi yot ti zizu yagoda dene kwa da wagu danu rarondo de yasune irade Zokki, osumagu, ya untke doda, ahyarek, dogatka negre. Tunda ya wasi, rarondo de, ya sagorege. Osumagu, ya ea da ne, ne yotzi zizu. Zi wa agoya da haje, wa ea na hadu, zi nahoda wa ekweni. Nia dega derege. Ya ehoe, zi ya ea da ne, zi da jutsu wagard us. Gods, Gahnaraga, Dagwagara do us. I do not understand. Ah, oh, oh, you want me to tell a story? All right, let me think. A story of betrayal, of selfish malice, and of gods who act as spoiled children. 
Of all our many gods, it is Odin who is the most revered. He is the All Father, the High One, the Wise King. But for all his glories, he can also be the most elusive of his kind. Selfish, solitary, stubborn, even cruel. In days long gone, it came to pass that Odin's son Balder died suddenly, felled by his only weakness, mistletoe. Believing his son's death an accident, Odin sent a message to the Jotun, Hel, asking her to return his beautiful boy to life. Hel agreed, but on one condition. Only if every living creature in the Nine Worlds shed a loving tear for Balder. At once, Odin sent word to every corner of the world, asking all to weep for his beloved boy. And all did. But one. A Jotun named Thok refused to cry for Balder. Let Hel keep what she has received, Thok said with malice. And that was that. Balder was gone forever. Send on a funeral ship across the sea, buried in Midgadir, amid trees and rocks. What Odin did not know is that Thok was none other than the trickster Loki in disguise. A god he knew as a friend. Worse still, it was Loki who led Balder to his death by a sprig of mistletoe. All these tricks and feints Loki had conceived. Some say it was in Loki's nature to be so cruel. Others argue it was revenge for deeds done by Odin to Loki and his children. There is a third view, that all these acts kind and cruel, were sown long ago in the pattern of their lives. That we are not the authors of our own destiny, but only its readers. And that we... Oh. <laughs> that we should fight against this view, for it is deeply unwelcome. Anguagara duha se ne at nowara raugara. Nene o niot ti wat ha det noya ge. Gorum brought this stone across the whale road for a strange purpose. I do not know why, but it seems to belong to this land. Yos, gods. Gwa, ras nu sage, wat neat da herde. Dagwa weird it, go? Take it and guard it. It may be that one day you will know its purpose. Thank you. Each of you, for all you have done. Aya Watski, yeti soto gungaha, ayeza hahara da, gahnaraga. So, what is the plan? To charge in head first, attack by surprise. That worked out well for us the last time. No, we should be more careful this time. We track it, then we corner it. All were the waves we sail. Good stranger. Thank you for your help. I heard what happened. We are just about to set off on our grand hunt for the fearsome beast. If the thirst of the hunt itches your throat, will you join us? Into the unknown we go. 
Join us, kinsmen. This bee's bested us last time. We should be on our guard. Ah! Ah, hey! Please, can we get along? Your horseplay will be our death. So, uh, what brings you here, kinsman? Was it the pull of the wilderness? The thrill of the hunt? You could say that. Then you will not be disappointed. However, be warned. This beast is quick to bite, and fearless. Drax! There is no mistaking it. It came from the same creature that attacked us. Even more ferocious than before. Good fighting. Ah, oh, what a beast we felled. You show true grit out there. Thank you for joining our hunt. Predator or prey, you are what you choose to do. creature was even worse than a bear, truly. This wilderness is too much for me. I cannot wait to be back home. We are done here. Uh, if we ever meet again back on familiar ground, you are welcome to join us. Arna did so well. Uh, you two, of course. Now we can return home with our head high. Jorav Jorvik, you shirked your work for quite some time. Jorah is no more. My name is Eivor, a Drenger of the Raven Clan, and my purpose is fulfilled. Purpose? <laughs> what purpose? Gorm is dead! The troll is dead! Olav! Sister, let us celebrate. Gorm Kötveson is no more. Slain by Eivor Ravenfriend. Eivor Forest Rider. Eivor Olaver Sailor. What is this? I had a long standing blood feud with Gorm and his clan. It is now laid to rest. Oh, the skulls will sing of this day. How Eivor traveled far and wide, hunting Gorm along the world's rim. Songs or not, Gorm is dead. Now I suggest you leave this place. There is no purpose for us here. I... I do not disagree. Gordon was a madman and a troll indeed. But he paid us in silver and that was enough. Brother, are you well? I feared the worst for you. I am well, yes. Oh, so well. And I may stay. To linger one season or two. 
with the friends I have made. As you wish, brother. And you, Eivor, where will you go? Across the sea with us, or back into the woods? A few tasks remain, but I will ready myself and return. I can linger a few days in port. Speak to me when you're ready to sail. Eivor, you return to us. I do. Ready to lift an oar on our long voyage back to England? I will sail with you. Let's go. Take care of yourself, Olaf. In this life and the next. Goodbye. Goodbye. Far whence the whale road before me. Dark are the deeds that brought me here. Fate may bind my bones to this land. For now, I walk the sea. Seems the wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. I should talk to hide them about my next targets. I will be back. And I will be here. Gorm is dead, nameless and alone across the open sea. A master of the order hewn from the trunk of their dying tree. You are getting closer to the roots. Here. This marks fewer members of the order. It gives me joy to take these from you. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. You have done well, but there are more still. I have to go. Then go in peace. Quat Tidem the Eivor. You've been away for so long. Were you worried? Of course I was. Such a long voyage. Did you do what had to be done? I did. And I'm eager to focus on problems closer to home. Good. It is done. Gorm is dead. The Kjotveson clan is wiped from this world. Good. I would like to hear everything about your journey to Vinland when you have time. One day.
Should we take this to your chamber? Hmm. No need. I want to see the Alliance map. What about Lincolnshire? A rather boisterous man named Hunwald arrived recently, wishing to speak with you. On a matter of great importance, he said. Where is he now? Down at the docks, carousing with my scouts and scaring the fish from the river. He waits for you with great eagerness. He sounds charming. I will meet him at once. Protect your ears. Oh, may I see your stores? Nothing else. I'll see you later, friend. Say hi to Petra if you see her. I would like to. Found who you needed? I must be on my way now. Goodbye. You may think this odd, but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem. May I recite it for you? Go on, Lord the Boy. 
make me tremble. Oh, indeed, I shall try. I call it Ode to a Hungry Flame. Another skull come to join us? Me? Oh, goodness, no. I'm no scold, no. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your meat. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. Every warrior in this clan deserves a song or saga, Lord. Why Eivor? Because her name alone dries the tongues of my enemies. If such a hero fought beside me, I'd fear nothing. What is your name, Lord? I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor, the current Elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family. That is a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again. If I knew my father was ill and beyond saving, I would ready myself to take his place. Will you take up his burden, should he fall? Oh! Banish the thought that such a great man should perish. But if he were to pass... Yes. Yes, I believe I could. I must. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son robbed of his father's protection. Now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now, but when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. Ah, you are the chieftain here. I suspected as much. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of a shield wall, but there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the room. I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that. I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord Boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all. I fear I may be escorting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up. Off we go.
You salt skulls got a story. My friends, they say skulls sing the best songs. There was a woman called Nal. You want a story? Unar the Ugly was an excellent sailor. When I came to England with the sons of Ragnar, friends, I have often said Nya was a gift from my wife. But until today, I have never told the full tale. In those days, Ulfhildr and I were young, and often did the things that young lovers do. But we never could have a child. Still, we tried. Every day. Yet always we failed. I took this hard and sought guidance, so I went hunting in the woods. When I returned, Alfielder was gone. I searched every corner of town, but she was nowhere to be seen. At last I asked the seeress, who told me she had given Alfielder a mixture and sent her into the woods to find a child. Think of the fear that ran through me. I ran into the woods and searched until I found her trail. I followed it deeper, until, until I found blood, near a cave mouth. I ventured inside, only to find dead wolves ringing a dying bear, its fur snow white. Fearing the worst, I searched on, only to have Alfielder find me. In her arms, she held a mewling bear cub. Alfielder had found Njal. The wolves and bears had killed one another. The cub was starving until my wife found her. Njal, our daughter. to alter his mind. Do you think you can stop him? Because I cannot. Easy, friend. I think you may have eaten something that did not agree with you. Today, my saga is writ! Glory! Ah, a brave steed has swept me up. Onward to my loyal companion! If I don't stop him, something or someone less forgiving will. I should stay close by, wait for him to tire. I cannot feel my lips or my nose. Why does the sun burn so hot? Fight me! You will be honored to add to my legend! This place is heavy. This guarded. victory I will add to my growing saga! You keep this up, you're going to get yourself killed. Are you hearing me? Yeah! Loud and clear! Now stand aside so that I may fulfill my destiny! Yeah! I'm going to have to drag you back myself, eh? I have been struck by a sudden wave of... Tired! I am tired! I think I can no longer walk. Yes, it appears so. Oh. 
Oh, if my mother could see me now. There is no resisting this lasting legacy I have forged. A wise man said it best. To resist is to piss in the wind. Yeska, where are you? I must find my way back to you. I have been struck by a sudden wave of... Tired. I am tired. My saga is complete and it is the envy of all... Your sculpt. Gods. Is he dead? No, but he should be. Seems the gods disagree this time. Splash water in his face and keep your distance. You'll throw up something fierce. Thank you for the advice and for your trouble, which is now my problem. <sighs> share a tale some years ago i took to sea with a sword dancer called aid a brooding hmm there was a tale of the man i was to crown king before oswald during my 19th winter king stirbion ordered the construction we can continue later i had a sweetheart once a long time back in my youth i will pick up from there Monastery, bound Not to right be now. rich pickings. Where well, you're at the good part, yes. In my youth, I remember hearing the story of Kalda. Here's young woman whose father forbade. I was so down in Gulfland for him bear me for his supper. Save it for later. <clears throat> not to draw attention here.
Are you feeling all right? Well, coming after, Stirmar. <laughs> You speedy hare. No entry to you past this point. Without a password to anoint. Stand aside and let me in. I'll have no qualms wiping clean that grin. You'll be less pale, more black and blue. And none shall care for the likes of you. Oh, God, a poet just like me. Yes, yes, your entry will be free. Now ball your fists and step right in. There's fun to be had. And bones broken. Are you ready? Ready. Splendid. And now for your opponent. Let's see if you don't take a fall against the one they call the Wall. Edward of Lincoln. Watching you rub bodies was an absolute treat. You move just like a noodle. My favorite thing to eat. It would please me to no end to watch you fight again. So whenever, now or then, return promptly to my den. Again, mm? ready for more? Ready. Splendid. There may be shared blood in your veins against this. Ready. Splendid. I think it's time your head got stung. For none remain but the silver tongue. One on one, you'll fight with me. Champion of the BBB! Ugh! <laughs> 
never been in such a fight. It seems to me you've proven to be champion. I am honored, I think. Go on now, carry our name with only pride and never shame. Remember how it was you came to be blessed with so much fame. Farewell. Not a brawler remains who dares suffer these pains. You are the winner, the victor, you see. Champion of the BBB. Hey! <laughs> Thank you. 
Sing, my ravens. Let's hear a story. I know a crazed man about my age called Ro My favorite part of any battle. A story from my youth. There is no more epic a tale than the story of how I found my ship. A good shack story should... I once sat down and spoke Sail. to Saxon priest. In the early days of the feud between... Hold on, good scout. Useless here. Where were you? In the early days of the feud with When I was a girl, I taught I will tell you this. No one is born with I was in hand of you when I saw the truest sea. More sail! So I may tell you a tale of the battle. My mother taught me to care for oath. Who among you has heard the tale of the Kraken? When I was eleven winters old, I was the youngest. Strange things have been seen. Hey, look, look! A military outpost! Now is not the time. All right, back to the story. Strange thing. My first day defending the wall. Here's a tale to tickle your sides. Not right now. Camp there, Eivor. Now is not the Probably time. Probably hostile. Quiet a moment, and listen to my tale of the king in the east. A story from my youth. You lot have not fought a full campaign under... Friends, amid all this battle news, how many of you still recall the first time you drew steel? I tell you that I do remember. The summer harvest. I was 14. Father sent me to find my sister who was late to the fresh. She often went to the woods with her betrothed in those days. I found them near the blackberries, still holding hands. They were dead, slain. I ran to raise the alarm, but far too late. Black smoke curled over the rooftops, the mead hall in flames, thatched roofs burning all the crops and fires. Flesh, too. Raiders from the Erlinger clan came down the coast. A feud between our Jarls, the cause long forgotten. Stolen cows, maybe. My first stood above my father's body. His back to me. I saw the scythe. I did not think. I grabbed it and cut him down. I have walked the road of red ever since. But at times... I wonder where I would be had the Erlingers not come a raiding that day. What's wrong with you? <laughs> What's this? What do I have to do? Have I lost my touch? Am I cursed? I... I just can't get it right. Stupid. You're stupid. Or fool. That's what it is. You think you know what you're doing, but you don't. Smells good. Oh, please. I'm irritated enough already. The last thing I need is someone lying to my face. It is a compliment, Saxon. Take it. What are you brewing, anyway? I call it Leicestershire sauce. That is a mouthful. What is wrong with it? 
It doesn't come close to meriting such a sizable name. That's what's wrong with it. And I've tried. Lord, have I tried. But I cannot, for the life of me, strike the perfect balance. I should just give up. As I look around, that is hard to argue. You wouldn't happen to be carrying a kneel, would you? What do you know? I am. My word! Is this the Lord answering my prayers? They sounded more like rants. Toss it in the pot, will you please? I've fished everything in Lederchester but the eel. Perhaps this elusive river snake has been the answer to my sauce woes all along. Ah, here it is. Would you be so kind? You want me to taste this? Of course, for your palate is far less tainted than mine. Take a generous amount, too. And? Verdict? No. <coughs> Not quite there. Oh, Lord! Uh, if it helps, I've had worse. I suppose that's it, then. It's over. Time for me to pack up my things and see what the fruits of another kingdom might offer me. Where will you go? Worcester, I think. Though I'll be buggered if I'm going to name my sauce after that paltry place. <sighs> Thank you. For all your help. I don't know many Danes, and I don't care to, but you've helped bring closure to this journey. If I could ask one more favor of you, it would be to take this failure to the grottoes below my home. I can't stand the sight of it. Farewell. Luck be with you. You will need it. Well, it was not for a lack of trying.
us. Got you. Get up! Sailor! Sing us a song. Good skill. Look, soldiers dug in over there. Pick up from there. Huh. 
Hunwald's back, drinking and jabbering as always. Hun who? Hunwald, son of our elderman. Thinks himself a real wonder, slouching with the common folk. Ponce. Ah, leave him be. If a man wants to drink in the dirt, let him. You used to harbor my throat. Reach before the So this is Hunval's safe haven. Prove it! Though we be a Mercian Shire today, tomorrow the kingdom of Lindsay will rise again, as free as the wind on the back of my neck. Your line of kings died long ago, Hunwald. We're in Lincolnshire now. Do you need a map to remember? Algar, my dear man, I do not need a map to prove what my bones know for truth. You! You look thirsty as a flaming fish. Drink faster than me, you win the purse. Brick. Ben. We drink. It shall wear than Utland. <laughs> So slow. Shouldn't have stepped up, Squirt. Be kissing a flagstone soon. the stranger Eivor come sit bread and ale please alewife I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here Lord he is a nobleman like me one of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. 
With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We're going to see your father, Hunwald. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Hunwald, I don't know your friend here, and not knowing him, I don't trust him. I'm his voice of reason, Eivor. And I've told him a thousand times it's too dangerous for him in Lincolnshire. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's site. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln! Away! But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard! A single Dane will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here she'll prove it. Wait, Snowdog, give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in! Have you ever seen a blood eagle, my Saxon friends? A what? A blood eagle. A raw, magnificent bird I'll tear from your guts. First I crush your ribs. Then I pull out your lungs and stretch them into wings so you can fly to your heaven as fast as possible. Jesus fucking Eden. You canny fox. That was incredible. Like watching a captain navigate the roiling waters of an angry river. I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then we shall set forth in search of adventures new. You travel with a marked man at your side. He's with me. You'll be fine. If I had a scribe jot down all the occasions I'd warn that stupid boy, I'd be the most written about man in history. Alvgar, the boorish nag of Lincolnshire. I told Hunwald to stay near. Where did he wander off to? Hunwald's in trouble. They call this pasty whelper lord. Look at him, soft as unbaked bread. Villains, leave me be! <laughs> leave him be! Jesus, he's brought a bloody Dane! What? They say the silver that is paying us. Down, pruned within an inch of my life. But I will survive. I must continue as you would, Eivor. And if I should expire, avenge me. I live! I am alive! Heaven have mercy! Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Buttlestone will be remembered for years to come! Algar, we have won our first great victory! Hunwald, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me, the son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive of me to believe my status held some sway over the chairals and serfs of this shire? What cause have any to dishonor me?
What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to screaming. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse pucky! Mercian soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river wash, and told me plainly, start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death. Hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Hunvald. Speak plainly, Hunvald. I cannot help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never! No, I suspect the order for my exile came from on high. Perhaps one of Burgred's final orders before he was deposed. That would surprise me. Burgred was battling Danes until the end. He had bigger things to worry over. Perhaps you're right, he's too contained. It must have been King Alfred, then. King Alfred of Wessex? That's another kingdom entirely. Yes, but Alfred has a fearful hatred of the Danes. He must have heard that I am courting one. A beauty who knows no equal. Your Dane, lady love. Right. I'll be gentle if they spot me. Here's Lincoln. The city of my birth, the cauldron of my present sorrows. Mercy and guards everywhere. Follow me. Right behind you, Shadow Walker. My heart beats like the drums of your dragon boat. Eivor, why does it not surprise me to see you here? Leovrith, following through with chasing down Burgred, I see. You said it yourself. His betrayal is worth a thousand deaths. I'm just waiting on a ship to take me to Rome. You'll give him my regards. Gladly. Burgred can flee his kingdom, flee his people, but he cannot flee his fate. I will see to it personally.
Hey, you want some meat? Yes. Beer, Eat. this way. Lead on, good my friend. No casks here, after all. A beer! Bring me beer, now! Ah, Godspeed, you sweet ale! I long may you fall. <laughs> well, aren't you a fine tulip? <gasps> Come on! I've got the good stuff. Oh, I'll follow you then. Psst. Follow me to the casks. Lead on, good my friend. Can't be far now. Almost there. You've had enough, friend. Guy, enough, is it? That's right. This town is your home? It was and should still be. Oh, to see it now fills my eyes with tears. Save weeping for prayers. We're not inside yet. One day I won't have to skulk around this town with my face hidden. I will walk proudly among the people I love. How was your father the last time you saw him? He was quite poorly. But he has the heart of a lion and the Holy Spirit itself within him. A bout of illness would never bring him low. Did he think highly of you? Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. The thanes and clergy of Lincolnshire on, are not fond of me, but they do not yet know me well enough. Not true. I'm right behind you. Not much further. There is always ale, sure as eggs is. The people of Lincoln are not welcoming to Danes. It's troubling, I know. Your folk are strong, hardy, noble. Creatures straight out of stories and tales. We are also living people, Hunwald. More than a story, we are real and flawed. Oh yes, of this I am well aware. Blunt and stalwart, honest and true. I have a Dane lady love with all those qualities, you know. You have a Dane lover. And she's a Valkyrie as well, I suppose. Is it much farther to... Sorry. The ale is all the gone. Why the force? More beer! We need more beer! My home is just there. We've made it. Careful. The house is being watched. What? Where? I have barely enough silver to buy Pete from those bandit smugglers. They hoard everything. Hunwald! 
Praise God, you live! I do, my dear Reagan hair. Body and soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Did he walk out that door himself, or was there a struggle? He wasn't took, nor did he walk. He sort of limped his way on. On his own, or was he forced? On his own. It was the Abbas Archer who suggested he be moved. She feared his illness was fast coming. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there, at the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. I wish you the best of luck in your endeavors, Dick. Who was that fellow? Reagan hair? He's an old fixture of my family's household. Loyal to the end. He helps run the place, and he's known me since I was but a little lordling. A simple <gasps> fellow, but worth every pinch of his salt. Beer! This way! Yes! Let's have a drink! <laughs> There's damp on the air. I fear grey clouds will gather soon. Aye. And foul deeds are brewing. The horses can feel it too. One foot in front of my face. There's no beer like no beer. Hey, you want some meat? This way, huh? All right. Just up ahead. Maybe. Is I run out of meat. Yeah. 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 Lincoln seems a good place to trade. Does it? The market is flush with goods. Yes, it must be. Growing up, we never wanted for anything in my father's home. Bread and poultry and field fruits of all manner. I suppose this is where our servants purchased them. Lincoln's boon was ours as well. How often did you leave your house, Humboldt? Oh, from time to time. Yes. Come on. I've got the good stuff. Oh, this way is right. Keep up! No 
casks here after all. Hey, I'll not. What? Where's the beer? You are a lying, dirty. Tell Lord Hunbeor his son has returned. My lord, you're well. Lord Hunwag, we had no news of your return. You might have sent a messenger and spared us the suspense. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumored dead? Oh, worse than dead. It is my reluctant duty to report the rumor that you were lost in the north. Bedding a Dane on some squalid farm. I have no patience for insults and rumor. We've come to speak with Lord Hunbior. That's all. Lord Hunbior has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. Once the storm has passed. What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Hunwald. In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against a Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwald. You arrive after a strange absence, with a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. If I meant to murder you, these stones would be slick with your gore already. Such violence. Good heavens. God must have purpose for you pagans in his holy plan, but I confess to utter bafflement. Hunwald, your father was at my hospice for a time, but he left of his own accord, without saying a word. That's all we know. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scurrying thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. Stay within these walls where you're safest. I will have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. Something on your mind? Eivor, I realize the strides you've taken to aid me. My oath to you will last an eternity. You will owe me a blood oath when all our work is done. Blood? Dear Lord. Wait here till I return. Can your guard speak through you, Herifrith? Can you tell me where the Elderman is? Our lord is not a trained dog who speaks on command. My goodness. When did you last see the Elderman? Leave us be. It is not your place to be asking such questions.
Kunwal's father was recuperating here not long ago. Someone may have seen him depart. Best not to draw attention here.
new leather.
You there. Do you know where your elderman has gone? I do not. And if you like your hide where it's at, you won't ask that round here again. Where is the elderman? Did you see where he went? I, I don't know. Elderman who? Sorry, I I'm busy. Do you know where your elderman is? I can tell you a few things, but not here in the open. Follow me. Ibien campo intercept septimo, diluculo electi, enerpes per tempos se ponan, et bibiacos a paterna sum. Enough. Tell me what you know. Oh, I know loads of things about our elderman. I know his favorite foods. I know when his bedclothes get changed. And I know he hates being bled with leeches. That sort of thing. But where has he gone? Ah, where? I have no bloody idea. Is that what you asked me? Forget it. Are you the head sister? Please, don't hurt me. These poor souls need me. Calm, sister. Lord Hunwald sent me. He asked me to speak with the people here. Hunwald? That's not a name I expected to hear again. No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. 
So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins just south of here. I will look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care. Wolf Heldung, School of the Rockyan. His bairn shall the bring on my spitches, Marian. You pay him on. These tunnels run deep. Was the Elderman fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln? here about what a violent struggle between nobles and bandits the bandits did not fare so well a noble's cloak with the image of a swan looks like the elder men passed this way
Saxon noblemen paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbrook Castle. Mercian nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the nobles, but it did not end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the elderman's cloak was torn off. But he got away and headed east for Bolingbrook Castle. That's my best lead. What happened? Were you bit? Oh, yes. Snake bit. Just like you. Attack! Our brothers and sisters have churned the very... Going back north where you belong. We will rid England of your kind for good. Feeble. My thanks for your contribution.
Cast about this land, my friend. This area is off limits.
I'm on the right track. That keep is well protected. At times, I wonder what in God's name we are here for. Hun Beor is his own prisoner. He's an ill man, leave him be. Besides, we ain't got it too rough. We can hunt in the walls of Lindsay and whore in Botolston. <laughs> too right, too right. I've gone done with idle time. Grab some ale and let's skin some animals later. My lord, you carried yourself as a true born king, born in a time of wolves. You have earned a long rest. Thank you, beautiful Galmina. So firm is your loyalty. None know me as well as you do. Thank you, lord. It is now time for your bath. May I wash you? Yes, good, good. There now, my lord. All is prepared. Shall we begin the washing? Hey, who comes? Welcome, stranger. Are you here to pay tribute to our lord, Elderman? This biscuit has been dry for some time, sister. How long has the Elderman been dead? Dead is such a drastic word. I like to think of my lord as... transformed. That's not untrue. Have you need of anything? Why has your Elderman's death been obscured? The people of Lincolnshire deserve to know his fate. Hunwald, above all. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret. Until the appointed time. When I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I have seen all I need to, but Hunwald will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects, though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something.
I do not know what this is, and I'd rather not ask. Yes, I thought the same. Troubling. Foul rat droppings everywhere. Even in death, my lord is a friend to all of God's creatures. Dried herbs and berries, crushed into powder. The time between my lord's departure and his burial is... longer than usual. My lord must keep up appearances for his upcoming rites. A box of musty clothing, and a brooch with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Hunwald and Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. Take care. And you. I shall take you to your family crypt at Nettleham within Lincoln. There, you may lay beside your forebearers, the great and glorious kings of old Lindsay. Please, do not desecrate our lord. I am Dane, not a cruel grief monger. Take it, 
me strength. Odin, the needing curse is lifted.
won't be gentle if they spot me. Eivor! What news? Your father is dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Hunbeorg's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong. A pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... Oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Atcha! Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son! Do not forget it! He has been dead for some time. That was obvious by the state of his corpse. One of you knows more than you're letting on. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing mooncalf. Will you never grow up? Lord, have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. You need a new elderman here, and it falls to King Cheowulf to make that choice. For once we find agreement, Eivor. The nobles here will convene a shy mood to select a new candidate. The winner will stand before the king for approval. 
Explain how this works. You're shy, Amut. Amut is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot, but between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. Hunwald is an obvious candidate, but I don't trust any of you beyond the tip of a spear. I'll see to it that he's protected until your shire moot gathers. None here wishes the boy ill, but do what you think necessary. Apart from Hunwald, who else will stand for the Elderman's seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land. And I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priests will spread word of the moot across the Shire, and will convene in a few days' time. Uh, do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor, a word if you don't mind. Is the word Christ? Oh, I deeply regret my churlish ways when we first met. I did not treat you as my god commands. With kindness and love. Love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes, quite. In any case, thank you for putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot. With Hunbeor's death an open secret, Hunbol's enemies may strike again. I should find him before they do. Archer went to console him. I should follow her. Best of luck at the coming Shiremoot, Bishop. I would tell you my fate is in the hands of our Lord, but... ...somehow I believe that won't be the whole story. You fear something? I fear everything these days. ...in small doses. Give my best to Alfgar and Hunwald, should you see them. around here. Oh, oh. Oh, it's 
Archer, where is Hunwald? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road, to the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. What devil put you up to all this deception? I wasn't put up, Eivor. I felt compelled to carry on for the good of the Shire. Until I knew the truth. A pretty answer for an ugly lie. I must beg forgiveness from my God. The Lord lifts up the meek. We must praise him. Show me. These woods, father. Oh, these woods. I remember the days we spent here together. Here, upon this spot. 
ducking and hiding through the rushes, with bow and arrow chasing rabbits and squirrels. A thousand arrows I fired, and a hundred trees I bled. But not a single animal could I catch. All of them fled. <laughs> Hello? Eivor? Is that you? Eivor, <gasps> what a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Unwald. Come, s sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate. Contemplate. Contemplate the view. Let's have a drink to the memory of your father. Go a sailing among the leaves so green. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness, but let your aching love light the mead of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. He and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting, and I would catch the m most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To your father, Lord Hunbjorth of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. A wise old oak. Yes. Skull. Skull. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat. But it's the wrong end! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. <laughs> she has a great sense of humor, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right. Your Dane lady love, she sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, gr Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Nothing like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. Now come. ...and enjoy the splendor of my Shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You have never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendor... ...full... ...why come to England at all? <sighs> You cannot grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Ha! Ah, very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty. 
to protect her. I know many think me foolish and experienced, but I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. But give me that chance. My God, I just want to have that chance. What was that? Birds, Eivor! Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Shh, quiet. Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. Eivor, I am sweating from pit to toe. Do not leave me here. Hush. Stay calm. into it wait for my signal
well struck, Eivor! I'm over here! That's twice they tried to kill you, Hunwald. And twice failed! We had luck, but if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead, and they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away! I am serious, Hunwald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear. Follow me! Hunwald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. Thank the heavens! There she is! Hundval! <laughs> I thought for sure you'd be dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I'm fine, my love. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. You really have been courting a Dane. It's a side of you I did not expect. People say we're an odd couple. I do not care much what people say. As every boat needs an anchor, every man needs his Swanborough. The light of my life. Eivor has been my champion as I stake my claim in Lincolnshire. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently. Then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. 
Hunwald should stay here out of sight until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunwald, no. The Shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the Shire as he did. Whatever strength you lack, you have in Swanboro. Heed her advice. Yes. If anyone can lift my spirits in time for the Shire moot, it's you, my dear. Come inside and rest your bumbling bones, love. Be well, Eivor, and thank you. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I do not doubt it. is itching for a challenger. Warlock, I could do with a round. Fortune favors the bold. Are you brave enough for a game or two? Let's begin. All right then, come. will do.
Interesting. This will do. Eminent. Interesting. Thought. No, I played perfectly. Another round? Another time, perhaps.
beginning. Glad you're here. Poison.
Gut. Enough that you're dead white. I have to listen to your babbling as well. Be there. Mm. Feel stronger already. <laughs> A man who falls asleep at any moment. How did you last this long? Think you can swell with the bus? I found him asleep beneath a tree. He's unharmed. My poor Bjarti. I'm so glad he's all right. You saved his life. Luck was with him. No hungry wolves or roaming bandits. The note he carries is helpful, but he must have more caution. He may not be so lucky the next time. You're right. I will wait until he wakes. And when he does, I will belt him. That is a start. Farewell. I can breathe again.
Those are the cries of a broken heart. Who died? My beloved cat, Sphinxy. And please, do not be so crass. Sphinxy has simply... passed on. She is in God's hands. Nothing hurts quite like a fresh wound. But in time, it will heal. And life will return to normal. Oh, if only. Instead, I find myself missing her more and more. With each passing winter. How long ago did Sphinxy pass on? Eleven years ago tomorrow. A long time, I know. <laughs> a little. Have you thought about honoring Sphinxy with a shrine? There's no burial, but it may ease your grief. I am halfway there, but I cannot bring myself to sort through her things. I simply do not have the strength. I will help you. We will build Sphinxy a shrine together. Where should I start? My home. It's where she... She... <laughs> there must be something I can find in here for the cat shrine. If I can sort through all the rubble. <laughs> Shit! This will do. I have found some of Sphinxy's belongings. It is done. A shrine dedicated to Sphinxy. Whenever you care to pay your respects, and a home you can return to again. It may take some getting used to without Sphinxy, but her children need you. And here I thought all Danes were ruthless plunderers. Murderers! You have a soul that would grace the heavens. Light my Sphinxy. Lord, light your way.
Eivor, welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Alfgar, it's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Uh, yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. If this belonged to the Elderman, shouldn't it go to Hunwald next? I suppose so. But I thought you a more fitting recipient. You'd know how to use it. Now, now, take it and come hither. I have a rousing hunt planned for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shiremouths. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. To be plain, Eivor, a great bear has been badgering my estate for weeks. I must do away with it. If only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear. Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to lead this shire. Though its line of kings is all but ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your, uh, uh, your thunder god. Uh, uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herefriv and Hunwald say. You Danes are damn decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived, not long ago. The locals were terrified. Are we hunting, Elvgar? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely. <clears throat> the bear's lair should be nearby. Wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes, and how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well, and itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right, very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another. Don't be frightened, Grim, but I believe Alfgar has arranged for us to meet. Oh, goodness, I've been discovered. But it's nothing untoward, I promise. I'm an honest man, and I believe that all people should live together in harmony. That's all. Hey, Leivor, did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear! That's the point of all this. We're hunting, I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgar claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? There's all manner of beasts in this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land on my estate. God shall provide. Have no worry.
This is the threshold of a beast's home. There's no doubting that. That's not a bear. Wolves. Algar, Eivor, there's something you'll want. Is that? That smoke! My god! My estate is burning like a twig! Soon to be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough and I can't tell you how to handle this, but please! My god, help me with this! I'm in this fight with you! A clutch of puny Mercians don't frighten me! Someone this waited until you were away to set your world aflame. No more shit! Now you pay! Yeah. Men who would see you burn are dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Algar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> Sweet Lord in heaven! The bear is returned! The Shyamoth will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. You see? Didn't I promise you a rousing hunt? Brilliant! Simply brilliant!
Archer, is everything ready? The Shiremoot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, I'm curious to see this Shiremoot for myself. I will follow. When will the vote begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones, but they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It's an important vote for your people. How would you counsel my vote? I value competent and righteous leadership, not foolish friends in high seats. Anyone but Hunwald, you mean? I love Hunwald, as I love my own kin. But I would not put a stone in his care without fearing for the safety of both. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. King Cheowulf's attendant, aren't you? Aye. The king sends his love and support. Whatever happens here today shall have his full blessing. He's learning fast. Good man. How are you, Lord? Have I heard aright? That you have come to break us from our deadlock? I have, Lord. Have you any advice before I vote? Lord Hundbeor was a bold and honest man, if somewhat reckless. I see the same qualities in his son. Therefore, Hunwald is my man. <laughs> A vote for Hunwald will return the House of the Ferocious Swan to its former glory. Good evening, Elvgar. Eivor, I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisker. It is a difficult choice, Elvgar. Know that I won't make it lightly. Good, good. But let me say unreservedly that I am the man who will lead Lincolnshire into progress and victory. I do not doubt your convictions, Lord. Grim, good to see you again. A hearty hello, Drenger. Seems Britain is getting quite used to the idea of Danes stalking her shores. Where do you fall in this contest, Grim? Alfgar is a friend of yours, is he not? He is. And a good man as well. But I cast my stone for the bishop. The bishop? That's an odd strategy. These Christians are easy to nudge about. So desperate they are to avoid a good fight, they'll agree to most anything a Dane says. <laughs> How fair you, Lord. My prayers are fervent and my will is strong, Eivor. If I am Elderman, I will bring joy to this Shire. There is more to good leadership than merrymaking. You must be strong and stern and willing to take risks. Of course, of course. Strength and wisdom and fortitude and all that. 
I shall rise above the peat moss of mediocrity. Have no fear. That is good to hear. Bishop. Eivor, I must thank you for your fearless participation in our moot. I'm surprised to hear you vouched for me, Bishop. I surprised myself, to be honest. But I felt it would be a good test of God's faith in my judgment. Under my guidance, this Shire is crawling back from a decade of lawlessness. God knows the love that lives in my heart for the people of Lincolnshire. I pray now that he guides your hand accordingly. Quite a gambit, Bishop. Mad enough to work, it may be. Well then, I thank you for what it's worth. God go with you. Free men, free possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It is not for myself I must cast the stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. I should speak with more people before I decide. Free men, free possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It is not for myself I must cast the stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses.
Though tinged with arrogance, Alvgad is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? Hunwald is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. The bishop can be stuffy and wallows in Christian piety, but he is wisest of the free and has already proven himself. Though tinged with I choose Alvgar. He's sturdy and competent, and his wealth will be a boom. It is decided. By the grace of God, the new Elderman is Lord Algar of Lincoln. God has spoken, and his voice is a clarion call. As your Elderman, I will work to better this Shire, to foster peace between its people, and to serve our King. I bless you all. Let us all raise our cups. A toast! to our new Elderman. As all well know, this Shiremoot's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Cheowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry. Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. A septic rot has overtaken this shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace, what is this? Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! Steal yourself, Moonwald. End game. Your troubles begin early, Elvgar. We'll find and kill that man. To think such carnage could happen in Lincoln. The Grief Tosser can't have gone far. Race a fear and march against what many has left. Agreed. Hunwald, will you fight with me? I will. For the sake of Lincolnshire, I bloody will.
I am at a loss for words. A trusted man of the cloth. <coughs> I will pray for these martyrs, and tend to the remaining wounded until the last man walks free. Be well, Archer. And you, Eivor. May God, or... or the gods, protect you. The Valkyries have little to choose from. So many innocents cut down. Paraphrase the bog rat, the shit-eater. The devil has him, that's plain to see. Bloody murderer! Oh, Shire! What remains? My heaven waits. What can I tempt you with? Why, well, it's good to have. You are wise, the stalker. This would look very fetching. Yes, this will look very good. You wouldn't regret getting this. One of my better pieces. should always leaving already shame I'm only buying these because I like you
I can always use more of that. This could come in very handy. I hope to see you again soon. I'll see you later, friend. Always good to have. It's just your style. This was an amazing choice. Until next...
Welcome! Thank you. I always need more of these. You should always be fully stocked. Yes. This... I hope to see you again soon. I must take my leave. This could come in very handy. These will come in very handy. You like that? It could be. Leaving already? I'm off. Such carnage I've never seen. That twisted bishop must pay the devil his due. What news? We have learned that Herefrith occupies a fort at Anacastra, south of here. An eager fear awaits my voice to lead him into battle. Will you ride with us? I have gone some days without a proper siege. Lead on. To the camp then, and onward to Anacastra. Follow, if you will. Herivrith was a friend of my father's and always so dear to me. I don't understand what possessed him. He invoked the name of an ancient order before his men attacked. I know exactly what possessed him. 
Do you? It's not a story for now. This will send waves of disgust through all the parishes of Mercia. Perifrith is a new and ugly stain on the bishopric. Your Christ was an interesting man, if a little soft. But stranger still, I've met so few Christians like him. Today has been a boon, Eivor. In spite of everything, I now know my father's spirit still burns within me. It's thanks to you I know this. When songs are sung of the day Lincolnshire was saved, your name will ripple through every stanza. Don't be hasty, Hunwald. One verse of our song remains unsung. The din of battle beckons. You pagans and your appetite for battle. I certainly don't share it. I worry what diabolical feast the bishop has in store. Don't let that poxy bishop worry you. With Eivor beside us, he'll be victuals before long. How has Acha taken all this? She and Herevrith were so close. She must feel as though the devil himself attacked her monastery. A poor lady. We spoke briefly. Her spirits were low, but her work carried on. I think she'll be fine. Manipulated by a man who should be God's gladdener. We are the men of Lincolnshire! Remember it! My ancestors fought with the old kings of Lindsay. It's for their memory we fight today. The sooner the better. Herifrith will entrench deeper with every passing hour. Smith has arrived. The Feards are ready to fight. Chieftain Eivor, can we win this battle with a small number you see assembled here? If they fight as strongly as they smell, we will claim victory. Then we'll have no cause for worry. We should attack soon, before the bishop can muster more troops. What do you think, Eivor? We attack now. Ready the Feard. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. The best way to breach is with a battering ram. I should help it along. Find a way past that palisade. 
lost you. Can't hold out much longer. Raiders, the door. We keep our wits about us. To hell with you. Me to the bishop. No one else need die today. He he's he's in the chapel there, hiding away. Scabrous coward. Let no one leave that church without facing judgment. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
skittering away. There. <gasps> I died the day I hid behind these robes, this cross. To bring the light of my order to a wider view, I debased myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancients did. That's the folly of mankind, Herifrith. We wallow in our failures, like happy pigs in a sty of shit. You should have learned to enjoy it. Magna voce letrari canis belli cubili exalcit. Sic faciam wimper felium et ambulato per yuga. Nan cum canibus ad olibitque.
as one possessed by a demon today. Herivrith may yet have allies in Mercia, members of his secret order, but the immediate danger is past. You have my deepest thanks, Eivor. To you I owe all my future happiness and prosperity. I did this to secure the alliance between us, Algar. Not to bring you personal prosperity. Oh yes, of course you did. Forgive me. I'm not yet accustomed to the size of the task before me. It is a shame Hunwal was not fit to don his father's boots. But he can bring joy to the people here. Treat him well. Yes, about that. I believe he has a somewhat different idea of his future. You should talk to him. About? Until next we meet, Eivor. The strength of Lincolnshire is yours, should you need it. We are bonded now. Your people and mine. I have found better friends in Danes, to be honest. Swanborough is my love, and... ...you are a better friend to me than any here. Would it be an imposition to ask... ...well... ...could we live with your clan? Swanborough and I. It would mean so much to her... ...and to me. Of course you may. We'll be happy to host you, ferocious swan, and your charming Dane. Come when it suits you. Oh, yes! Uh, I'll pull my weight, I promise. And fight when needs be, and I won't drink more than I'm allotted. You fight with us, Hunwald, and you can drink as much as you like. Thank you, Eivor. This means... It means the world to me. Seems the wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. my eyes soon and
<laughs> Off we go. We need an epic tale. A good shack story should liven our spirits. Up, Where were you? Now all your shag stories are surely dumb and swift. <laughs> I joke. 
You are surely the greatest lovers, every one of you. However, my stories of shagging are greater. Who among you has heard the tale of... When I was 11 winters old, my mother taught me to care for oaths as if they were my own heart. There is no greater aim than... Till death, when a foul king strolls into town, an oath means as much as dust. These flimsy oaths, they cost us everything. I like to take oaths in the ancient manner. Do not eat for a day, then cut a sheet of her from the earth. Then wrap your sword in this oily carpet of dirt and grass, flakes from great Emir's old corpse, and set it aflame. In that way, your honor burns bright. It does not dwindle as you speak the old words. Now, with nothing to your name, with nothing to gain or lose, will you pledge your heart, your family, your raven wine, your honor, your might, and your word to each and each who stands and stood for you like fire and fire. And finally, the dagger. Together draw blood from the cradle of the sword earth, mixed your inner rivers, and you are bound. That is how you make an oat. Today we shake, spit, and trade arm rings. All ceremony is gone. All thunder and spirit. <laughs> Here's a tale to tickle your sides. The winter before, I was drinking in Stavanger with some companions. With us in the mead hall were men of Bard Jarl's clan, one of which was a poet named Halli, called Sarcastic Halli by most. Seven ale horns into his night, Halli stood upon his table and called across the room to another man, a skald named Chudolf. Chudolf, he yelled. I can compose a more beautiful poem with my belching than you could with your tongue and fine words. The room laughed. Chudolf loudest of all. I accept your challenge, sarcastic Halley, he shouted. Allow me to begin. Chudolf then spoke this verse. Sad Halley drowns in horns of hubris, squeaking like a stoat. Yet proudly the pup calls it poetry. The room laughed again, with Holly joining in. Then, Holly tripped across the room and opened his mouth to speak his verse. From his throat erupted a jet of vomit into Trudolf's face. His only composition that night, of which is he most proud. <laughs> I once sat down and spoke to Saxon priest. Not as men with different gods, but as drunk men. Curious? I questioned him. He Hold on, good scout. Let's hit the bastards! No escape! I will gut you! Make them bleed! And take their horn! Yeah. 
Give me a hand with this! a hand! Great. Help me out here! Sail! Who has the wind? Let's 
Let's have a song. You sell. of this ship. Such a dishonor to so loyal a steed. Do you realize how many trees had to die for us to use them as our vessel? A long ship is a hundred horses that mated with sacred fish. Gudrun and Gudmund are like the bloody elves of Asgard. You dare desecrate this scourge of the swan roads. This fire spouter to the bowels of it. I would like to reorganize the crew. Good for now? All right, bring out my lieutenant. to go. See you soon. You dare desecrate this scourge of the Swan Roads. This fire spouter to the bowels of England. You should lick these benches. Caress the masthead. Thank the sail. Make offerings to the hall. Evil. Evil. Strange times these. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nature is amazing. Have something that may interest you. I'd pay well for this. Excellent. We always have need for this. Done for now. I'll see you. Hope to see you again soon. Eivor. Lincolnshire is a friend to us. Wonderful news. And who is our ally there? Elfgar is now Elderman of Lincolnshire. I believe he will be a good friend to our clan. Good. I hope he is a man we can trust.
Yes, sir. Hey, my boy. Hey there, how are you?